It is widely acknowledged that empathy plays a key role in interpersonal and emotional understanding, motivating pro-social behavior and promoting caring and generosity. There are three basic components of empathy, affective, cognitive, and behavioral, which gradually unfold during childhood. Affective responsiveness is the first and earliest manifestation of empathy, for example, contagious crying in response to the distress of others. Cognitive maturation following toddlerhood leads the child to an increasingly sophisticated understanding of the perspective of others and a deepened awareness of the causes and consequences of feelings. Finally, the internalization of social standards marks the capacity to act pro-socially towards the victim in whatever unpleasant living conditions. Empathy is a potential psychological motivator for helping others in distress. Empathy can be defined as the ability to feel or imagine another person's emotional experience. The ability to empathize is an important part of social and emotional development affecting an individual's behavior toward others and the quality of social relationships. Empirical evidence has also shown that empathy functions as a regulative factor that can potentially prevent aggression, anxiety, and depression. And this function typically starts in childhood and develops into adolescence and early adulthood. The Quran describes believers as those who practice compassion, which is a form of empathy that moves one to help others. And what can make you know what is breaking through the difficult pass? It is the freeing of a slave or feeding on a day of severe hunger and often of near relationship or a needy person in misery. And then being among those who believed and advised one another to patience and advised one another to compassion. Quran chapter 90 verses 12 to 17. One account of the prophets, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, empathy in action is, when he was sitting in with his companions, one morning, and members of a miserable tribe approached them. They had no shoes, and their skin was stuck to their bones, because of hunger. The prophet peace and blessings of Allah be upon him became instantly moved, upon seeing their condition, and the color of his face changed. He commanded Bilal, may Allah be pleased with him, to give the call to prayer, and gathered his companions. After praying, they took up a collection for the tribe to help them generously. Narrated in Muslim. There is also the famous hadith about the prophets, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, empathy for mothers in the masjid, that was narrated by Anas bin Malik. The messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him said, I started prayer and I wanted to make it long, but then I heard an infant crying, so I made my prayer short, because I knew the distress caused to the mother by his crying. Narrated in Ibn Majah. Because you will become a more kind and helpful person, demonstrating empathy will enhance your relationships and build your Muslim character. Someone feels immediate soothing relief and calm when you demonstrate that you understand them, whether by expressing your own thoughts in response to theirs, or by summarizing what they have said.